Goat Simulator 3, the second game in the Goat Simulator series, was faced with an impossible task. How do you make a bigger and better sequel to one of the foundational joke physics games, a genre predicated on being goofy, kinda shitty, and cheap? Coffee Stain North's answer was to use Goat Simulator's foundation to make a collectathon 3D platformer, a la Spyro or Mario 64. The result gave me some genuine laughs, but its clever moments are strung together by exactly the kind of samey, repetitive open world checklist experience Coffee Stain often skewers in its jokes. The result is better than the original, but not better enough to recommend. The first Goat Simulator was a runaway sales success back in 2013. I look at it as an evolutionary missing link between Gary's Mod and newer efforts like Prop Hunt or Crab Game. But in our own review from the time, Andy Kelly awarded it a 30% and called it a joke stretched way too thin concluding that beyond the eye-catching premise, it's just a bad, amateurish, and boring game. A little harsh, but I don't exactly disagree. I remember my friend bought Goat Simulator back then, and we had a good two hours of fun playing it on his laptop in the dorm, after which we never touched it again. In Goat Simulator 3, you have the same basic movement and interaction tools, with the very welcome addition of 3D Super Mario's escalating triple jump. The new game's set in a larger map, with delineated side quests and hidden collectibles to contrast with Goat Sim 1's make your own fun ethos. I found the side quests pretty boring. They usually just ask you to headbutt something or drag a person or object to the correct location. I do appreciate their deliberately vague instructions with experimentation leading to eureka moments that can be genuinely funny and surprising. Goat Simulator 3's humor isn't confined to glitchy ragdoll antics. Each quest has a punchline and even the dullest side quest had a twist or a gag that got a chuckle out of me. It just wasn't enough to get over the monotony of it all. After seeing everything and filling up the whole map, I entered the open world trance. Open map, Track objective, complete, rinse, and repeat. It took me six hours to unlock Goat Simulator 3's final boss, and by that point, I was ready to do almost anything else. There are a few highlights among the side quests. One pretty bare bones mission unlocks a hippie van wizard's pocket dimension made up of floating asteroids to hop around. It felt like those platforming challenges in Super Mario Sunshine that everyone either loves or hates, and Goat Simulator 3 would have benefited from more levels like this. Similarly, some of Goat Simulator 3's quests opened up to little referential side areas, with gameplay homages like those in the Nier series. The snob in me wants to say that reference is the lowest form of comedy, but Goat Simulator 3 commits to the bit with such conviction that I quite like its little shoutouts. Goat Simulator 3 also introduces online co-op multiplayer up to four players, as well as a selection of multiplayer minigames found through nodes on the open world. I wasn't able to test out those minigames for this review, the addition of online play is certainly welcome, since most games are more fun with friends. But sharing Goat Simulator 1's antics with my friend back in 2013 didn't extend its novelty for long, and I don't foresee that being any different here. I find it hard to recommend Goat Simulator 3 to anyone. I got excited when I first booted it up, thinking the collectibles and puzzly side quests meant it'd be like Mario Odyssey or Sable. But Goat Simulator 3 shows its entire hand quickly, and I just got tired of it. Making an awful little goat do weird ragdoll physics stunts can be fun but $30 is a lot to spend for that privilege at a time when the jokey physics game niche is packed with more options than ever. Teardown and Bone Lab have offered genuine innovations with their destructive physics and VR integration respectively, while the granddaddy of them all, Gary's Mod, is only $10 for a whole universe of modding potential. There are sparks of clever humor scattered throughout Goat Simulator 3, but as a whole, it's just fine. A competent slapstick goofball sandbox where a goat can run for mayor.